welcome to episode 8. As you can see here, we have a few ships doing a few different things uh, that are Ike related. This one's uh, kind of set to come down for landing or try to establish an orbit and, and make a landing. This one's going to do flyby. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this, the, the flyby craft first. Oh, and by the way, in doing a flyby, we completed a mission for 730,000 funds. Uh, I want to make this flyby a little tighter. basically what I want to do. Uh, I need to add an additional stage to activate the parachutes later. Make sure all my systems are set up the way that I want them here. All the liquid fuels in the rear tanks. Good, good. We're in orbit around Ike. Any uh, crew reports to be had? Oh, I think we have a contract. Um, that one's done. Map some temperatures, plan a flag. Data from the surface around Ike. And land on Duna. Yep, okay, that's fine. Anyway, we're going to get this periopsis running a little tighter. Is that not the right way? Oh, oh I'm controlling from the wrong spot control from here facing the wrong way controlling from the wrong spot so we want Ike's periapsis to be about I'm really, ideally, 12 kilometers would be great. It's going to make it easier for me to get a Duna encounter that I like. Forty-five. Let's go ahead and crank it up here. Finger on the X key. It's 20. Under 15 is good for me. Now this ship... Is it within control range? No. This ship... Uh, does not have a pilot on board. But... It is making a flyby of Ike as well. And it needs to turn its SAS on. And deploy solar panels. The old time warp trick. Um, now that we're around Ike, by the way, we can observe this materials bay and grab that. Get prepared to grab that science as well. But um, we need radial. Radial out. So we can get ourselves ready for an orbital insertion. Apparently, I have not activated the stage. There we go. Five, six. Where did I? Come on, really? Nine, ten. These maps are awfully big. So I'll go for twelve. No, we'll also go for fifteen. Problem is, this ship keeps on wandering around. Okay. <clears throat> um, now, now, 
if I plan orbital insertion, move wrong way, 10 seconds. Thirteen seconds. I can't remember. I can't remember how quickly this thing goes through fuel. Is it also one point six? Okay, we'll get this guy established into orbit and then we'll flip back to the other vehicle and make sure he's ready to be happy and healthy and getting his um, himself set up. <clears throat> All right, let's get facing our node here. Full throttle. This thing is unruly. Let's get our apoapsis down where I like it. Don't need that anywhere. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Whew, sweating. Periapsis is high enough where I don't think I'm gonna crash into any mountains. Apoapsis is a little higher than what I'd like for a nice circular orbit, but that's okay. We'll find a nice soft, uh, soft spot to land. But first, we're gonna switch over to Ike Mission 1. And see about this flyby. Go ahead and let him fly on by here. Need to wait for this thing to finish firming itself up. There we go. Okay, now. Um, Duna. We need to go orbit anti radial to bring this periapsis up to 60, 60 kilometers. Just a little bit of thrust there. Once here, we need to get ourselves into orbit. An orbit that is not going to be impacted by Ike. So that's 50 something seconds right there to do that. And then I know it would be, uh, um, I don't want to use that much fuel. That'd be a problem. Unless we brought a, a container truck. But if we do something like this, right? It's kind of strange and eccentric. Let's get it out of the sphere of influence of Ike. So that's only 12 seconds. Our other ship can match that probably, I think, maybe? <laughs> if not, uh, we'll figure it out. So anyway, 
This ship warps to its next maneuver. Don't let me down warp. We only have a 12 second burn for this one. Go ahead and get ourselves facing retrograde. And at T minus six, go full throttle. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one, zero. Main engine cutoff. Trim up the residuals. Good enough for me. Okay, we have this funky sort of orbit going on here, but we can fix the rest of that if needed. And we have 100 seconds worth of fuel left, which should be enough to get home. Pretty sure it's enough to get home. Let's switch back to here. And we are orbiting Ike hunting for a place to set down. Right around here looks good. Um, don't know how long that burn's going to take. But there's a mountain in the way, and I don't want to crash into it. So I guess what we need to do is burn at this mountain to hit the brakes and bring us down to a, a landing right there. Yep. It's a three-second burn. So landing on Ike is going to take next to nothing. All right, let's get ourselves set. This is going to be a pain in the ass to control. Because there's not a pilot on board. Warp to my next maneuver. Keep an eye out once again. <clears throat> In case this thing wants to have us brush past it. I can't remember what the uh, fuel consumption of this Terrier is. I guess we'll know in a little bit. <clears throat> Heck, we have this RCS we can use too. So we're getting ourselves set down for a landing mission on Ike. Let's get a screenshot of this. Ding! Two, one, go! I didn't happen to catch what my maximum burn rate was at full throttle. All right, <laughs> that looks pretty good, I guess. A nice braking maneuver which is going to be a 12 second burn. So at T minus 12, we'll get that done. Let's get ourselves all set for landing. Cycle the landing gear. We have two minutes, which is just enough for her to 
Get a crew report. Reset that. Get an EVA. Okay. Um, climb up. Collect that data and restore it. Observe the materials bay. Collect that data and restore it. Observe the mystery goo. Okay. Material study while in space near Ike. Material study in space high over Ike. We get a material study in space near Duna. Didn't get that one yet. Or maybe it's on the other ship. So we're going to fast forward a little bit here and get ourselves to this maneuver. And then hit the brakes. I'm going to do, just because this thing is so unruly to control, I'll do 50% throttle right here. <laughs> this thing is rough. Don't need you anymore. We're hitting the brakes, trying to get this thing to land on Ike. Looks like 1.5 is my magic number, and I do not have enough liquid fuel, I think, to get up again. Coming down at 20, which is too fast. Well, maybe I have enough. But if I do, it'd be just barely. No, no, no. Uh, oh. And I don't have enough torque. What if I do it with RCS? I have enough RCS to stand us up. Well, there you have it. We have landed on the surface of Ike. We can get a crew report and send that back for 40 science. Uh, observe the materials bay and keep that. Observe some mystery goo. Keep that. Run this analysis, whatever that does. Resource analysis performed for Ike Lowlands. Okay, what's that mean? Oh man, we have so many. Okay. Um, experiment related from the surface for 159,000. We've successfully explored Ike for 470,000. Uh, transmit and recover science from data from Ike for 37,000. And land on Ike, 75,000. Uh, what other contracts do we have left? Plant a flag on Ike. Okay. Sure, we'll do that. Log this pressure data. Keep that. Log seismic data, keep that. Log temperature data, keep that. Extend our ladder. And EVA. I already got that one. Here we go. Congratulations, we're on the surface of Ike. Plant that flag. Completing a contract.
What the crap is this girl's name again? Andra. Andra was here for science. Andra was here for science. Andra, first female Kerbin to land on Ike. First Kerbin ever to land on Ike. Let's go to our contracts here, and we get 406,000 funds for planting a flag on Ike. Uh, yeah, we just made a lot of money. Now if only we could figure out how to recover all this science. Oh. How much RCS do I have? Not much. But hey, it's as much RCS as I have uh, liquid fuel, though. That gives me a lot more Delta V. Hmm. Hmm, I say. <laughs> Temperature scans, we can't do this trip. Sorry. I might lose that money. That's okay. Um, so I tried the return mission, and uh, we can't quite make it. Not with all this science stuff. So we'll have to do... We'll have to make a, a some sort of rescue ship that can come down and get the science. <clears throat> it might be the same design... Uh, just without the science gear, really. That's unfortunate. But. We do have this other ship. Over here. Um, who is in a slightly eccentric orbit around Duna. I'm thinking if we're going to do any sort of rescue ship, um, <clears throat> I don't know what's gonna, what I'm going to do. Harm. I don't know what I'm going to do. This guy's in a retrograde orbit around Duna. And Duna is definitely not in a position to leave for Kerbin. Because we leave Duna... Uh, Kerbin needs to be, like, here. I think the best thing to do is to make sure that this guy is in a solid, stable orbit. With no influence from Ike. That's what I think. <clears throat> and uh, then in that case we will build a bigger vessel full throttle <clears throat> Slightly eccentric orbit around uh, Duna is fine. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's switch over here. We have... We have... I mean, it's not a lot of science. We'll get more if we transmit it, or if we recover it, but... I think we should go ahead and uh, transmit what we have. Transmit, 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 transmit. We're going to transmit everything we've got.
go ahead and let this thing finish transmitting <laughs> all the stuff. And at least then we get some science out of the deal. Just standing by while I'm trying to get all this good stuff back to curb in. Okay, that ship has transmitted everything. Switch over here. And go ahead and have this ship transmit everything as well. We only have the one thing. Material study? Sure. Do we not have an antenna? Oh, great. The antenna is on the, um, the other thing. So in order for that to come home, this ship needs to make it home. We'll keep it. That's going to be it for this episode. We'll head back to the Space Center. <clears throat> we have 608 science, which is enough for a couple more nodes in the next episode as we figure out how we're going to do a rescue of, of sorts. And, uh, and also figure out what to do with 2.4 million funds. So until then... Thanks for watching. Goodbye.